This summer, I did research at the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences um, on the detection of smoking-associated DNA methylation changes in the AHRR gene, and I compared smokers and non-smokers. So essentially what I did is I took uh, 93 whole blood samples from uh, both smokers and non-smokers, and uh, I isolated down the DNA. Uh, once I isolated down the DNA, I did a process called bisulfite conversion. So what bisulfite conversion does is it changes all the unmethylated cytosines to uh, uracil. So um, the DNA strand is essentially left with just methylated cytosine. So uh, using a technique called high resolution melt, we can detect uh, the l methylation levels in each of these DNA strands. Then I used PCR to amplify the samples and then we started the high resolution melt process. So essentially what high resolution melt does is it takes advantage of the different melting temperatures of the uh, amino acids uh, or the nucleic bases uh, that the DNA is made up of and it heats the DNA strand. So the DNA strand is dyed so it has fluorescent dyes in between each of the bonds and then as it's heated, as the DNA strand heats it dissociates. So um, when it dissociates you can see the fluorescence being released into the sample um, and there, there'll be a big spike that you can detect. So based on when that fluorescence, uh, at what temperature um, the fluorescence is released, you can find out what percentage of methylated DNA is. So what we found is that um, smokers are significantly hypomethylated compared to non-smokers. So um, they have significantly less methylation than uh, uh, non-smokers do. So what this means is that the methylation is like a protective layer to the DNA. So this protective layer is lost. Uh, then the DNA is exposed is uh, very susceptible to uh, DNA changes or uh, molecular level changes, um, and then this might be the reason why cancer is more uh, smokers are more susceptible to diseases such as cancer, heart disease, atherosclerosis, and such.